Hello everyone, this is just going to be a quick guide on how to make a bin file for the duck station emulator. Now, the thing with duck station is you can't use ISO files or really disks, you have to use bin files, which means files need to be converted to that. But so the first thing you got to do is just download Pi Power ISO, and once you've got that, then install it. It's, it should be completely fine. You'll come up and you'll get this. Now, of course, you have to have the disk in your drive on already. All you gotta do is go to tools and click this option, make CD, DVD, Blu-ray image file. And it'll come up, this is what I've got, I've got Beyblade, all nice and ready. This is just gonna select where it goes, I'm gonna completely change that, because I don't want it to go anywhere near there. Just pull it here, I suppose, I'll do, no, I'll do for now. And now this is the important part, do not put it in standard ISO. You can if you wanna use PCSX too, and use this to make games for that, but simply just use this. You can enable password protection through this as well, which is quite fascinating, but we don't need to do that. Simply press OK. And then here you go. It'll just start downloading. It should take only a handful of minutes. It depends on your disk drive. It also depends on the size of the game, but PS1 games are not that big at all. We'll just let this run. Now, when it's completed, this will pop up. Nice and simple. Simply press OK. Close the application. You see it here. Now you want both. You only need this file, the bigger one, to run the actual game. But this is there, basically to make sure that you can actually set it up, so you can select it from the emulator properly. So I'm just going to move it here, and this is just going to be now to prove. Whoops, to prove that it works. PS1 games, they're all here. Now open the emulator. Start disk. Move to PS1 games. Where are you hiding? There we go. Let's open. And now you'll see it work. Ignore NVIDIA in the corner. <laughs> Switch to analog mode. Oh wow, it's Atari. Just skip all this. As you can tell, it works completely fine. This is just an example. But yeah, the game runs completely fine. Continue. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have a save file. But either way, you can see the game works. No problem whatsoever. Sorry, uh, bye Kenny. I don't want anything to do with you. But yeah, it's honestly just that simple to make them. So yeah, I hope this guide has helped you. Because I know it took me forever to figure out how I can do it myself. So I hope this reaches enough people and it helps you. Right, so thank you guys. And especially this time of year with what's going on. Stay safe.